This is the Wall of Games 75 pound mystery box. This is the Wall of Games 150 pound mystery box. Join me after this when we get into this. See you in a minute. Welcome back. Well, Warlord Games released their mega mystery box, and I couldn't resist in grabbing one. And we know from previous videos, and if you've had a box from Warlord yourself, the £75 mystery boxes are ridiculously good value. If you see the last video that I put up, um, I'll link it in the end card, so make sure to watch to the end to see that. There was a staggering £260 worth of stuff in that box. Uh, so that's way over double, way over double. This is £150 with a minimum of £300 inside. Sorry, something just blew down outside. So let's open this up and have a look what we get inside. When the courier dropped this box off, um, my, the first words out of my mouth were swear words. Um, I was shocked by the size of it. It is a massive box um, and ridiculously weighty as well. I'm just going to slide my head sideways. Do as, I, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, don't follow me for cutting advice. Ugh. Cut yourself. Now, just for comparison, this is the size of the 75 pound box, and in the intro of the last video, it was standing up like that. Just for the comparison of the size, I'm just going to see if the usual gubbins is on the top here. Uh, it is hiding my looks of it. Is that it? That is it. Right, okay. Now, what am I hoping for in this box? Well, a starter set for bolt action. Starter army would be quite nice. Hopefully one that I haven't got. Um, maybe Project Z. It's Project Z. Sorry, Project Z for the, uh, the people over the pond. Uh, I'd like to try and get into that. I've held off buying any Project Z for uh, the reasons of what can come in this box. But we shall open up and we shall have a look. So, first thing first, you get rid of that packaging. Lots of packaging. Lots and lots of packaging for lots and lots of stuffs. Ooh, my Americans are gonna get some more reinforcements. So not only the, sh the Stuart from the last one, but, uh, but uh, oh, there is some Project Z in here. Um, and there is a starter army as well from what we can see. Right, okay. I'm gonna give you a top-down view of what's in this box and you will see it is rammed full of stuff. I am ridiculously excited about this. So, first things first. We have a sprue of uh, Warlord Games 2001. Yeah, we know that. They are more Italian Alpini, which is good because I've got some uh, of those already. Oh, in the last video we did, we did, um, I did a running total at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure if the ka got too much. So what I'll do is I will just do um, a grand total at the end for this one, for the money that came in this particular box. Uh, so we have a sprue of Alpini. All Games Alpini, one of the new sprues. And we also have some Warlord Games brushes, uh, synthetics by the looks of it. Uh, actually, Warlord Game branded brushes. Warlord Games brush one, two, and zero. Always handy to have some brushes. Uh, and then we have a, another War Games Illustrated magazine, a slightly newer one this time. This is from uh, 2002, the others were from 2001 in the last box. Um, and this 
will be an interesting little read if, if nothing else. We'll scoot over there. Um, we have a, oh, this is the same issue, issue 404, that we got in uh, the box yesterday, in the 75 pound box. Um, but again, uh, I'll keep these here in the Wargaming bunker. So, you know, if someone has to go to the toilet or something, the other person's got something to read and whatever. Some more packing. Um, some more packing. Um, okay, we have the Blood Red Skies uh, Battle of Britain. I think I already have this box. Um, but this includes... Oh, it's the smaller version of it. Uh, it contains one Blood Red Skies rulebook, two Supermarine Spitfires, uh, Spitfire Mark II fighter planes, two Messerschmitt BF-109Es, um, a four BRS, so Blood Red Skies flying bases, two reference aircraft cards, eight combat dice, six pilot skill level discs, Six boom chip tokens, uh, six zoom tokens, three cloud air defense clusters, uh, navigation clipper, range finder, and two movement templates. So the box that I got before this was uh, the Battle of Britain starter box. It had more planes um, in it, but it didn't have the plastic rulers and stuff like that. Um, we'll get some closer views later. And there's the Battle of Britain box. So that is another starter set. Oh, it's not a uh, it's not a bolt action starter army. Um, I wonder if you can tell what kind of army it's going to be. Um, here we have some Vallejo paints, um, eight hobby colours. It is the British Infantry Napoleonic Wars paint set. Uh, comes with uh, buff, London grey, flat red, dark Prussian blue, German dark green, oily steel, off-white and brass. Paints that I actually need for a current project. So, uh, and there's also a painting guide on the back for Pike and, for, on the back for Pike and Shot. Um, what's this here? Here we have a box of Falschemjäger. Uh, I have a Falschemjäger army for my Germans. My German army, so that will definitely come in handy. These are mid to late war. Um, Project Z male survivors. Uh, there is 10 uh, models in here, plastic models uh, with 18 cards. Uh, some really nice stuff in there as well. Be cool to put the, the t there's a <laughs> like the priest on the front with the Bible and the uh, and the uh, MP5. That's cool. Um, ooh, some more SPQR stuff. We have some Dacia and Samata uh, heroes. They will definitely be getting used. And it comes with King Decabolus, foot and mounted. <laughs> It's not this, but I'm going to call him Sausages, because it's funny. Um, Susages, S-U-S-A-G-E-S. -E uh, Sumatran hero and a Dacian hero. Five Warlord resin miniatures and three reference cards. Which is good. And we have here some more SPQR. We have the Dacia and uh, Sumatra uh, Cataphract Command. So some heavy horse. So this is actually going to the the SPQR stuff that I'm um, that I'm getting is being used for two games. It's being used for SPQR, and also I'm going to be getting some a movement tray uh, trays for them. The ones that go from the circular bases up to the squares, um, because I've just received a very old book uh, for Warhammer Ancient Battles, so they'll be used together, which is quite nice. Um, we have some more. Uh, order dice from Warlords, some more of the new order dice. We got some lovely um, black and green ones yesterday in the £75. We got some lovely, nice bright orange ones here. Um, 
here we have some black powder. Oh, the King's German Legion 2nd Light Battalion. So it looks like we're leading definitely into pike and shot here, I would think. Uh, because they've got the Bastille Day sale on at the moment, I think it's still going on um, for Bastille Day and Pike and Shot. Um, so we have some uh, King's German Legion Light Battalion there. I was, <coughs> excuse me, I was looking at actually getting into Pike and Shot, but uh, some of the rules, kind of, from what I've seen in battle reports, you don't remove the casualties from the bases, which is. Um, but that's probably how I'm used to wargaming instead of multi-based. So uh, since I'm getting into King of War, uh, it might be interesting to try. Uh, what else do we have here? We have a Fallschirmjäger. Oh, why do German words are so difficult for a British uh, speaker? Uh, Fallschirmjäger Ob Oberst. Oberst. O-B-E-R-S-T. Oberst Steiner. So uh, an officer model. Uh, please don't crucify me too much in the comments. I am earning. Uh, I am an ignorant <laughs> English speaker. Um, ooh, an Italian army medium mortar team. That's also very handy, and we'll go with my Italian army. Very nice. And here, oh crikey, what's this? Blood red skies. Oh, it's um, a Kate Squadron. Uh, torpedo Bombers, I believe. Um, I believe these are Torpedo Bombers. Um, they are resin miniatures right at the bottom. We'll, uh, we'll look at them up. We'll look at them later. Uh, yeah, it's not going to close now. I believe the Kate was a Torpedo Bomber. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, that's very, very cool indeed. Progress guys, Nikajima B5N Kate Squadron. Very nice. Ooh, didn't want that to fall off. Um, an M10 Wolverine. The Warlord. And Bolt Action. Um, can be used by the British as well. I uh, can't remember what the British called it. What did they call it? Um, No, it's gone from my head. What was it? Yeah, it's gone from my head. I can't remember now. But that's going to be very nice to build up and join my American force or my British force. Nice bit of tank destroyer support. Uh, some 2000 AD Judge Dread Fatties at War. So this is uh, one resin, one resin and Warlord resin uh, Fats Hambo miniature. One resin and warlord resin fatty battering ram miniature. Two character cards, two big meg cards, uh, got pots and frag grenades. So there's that one there. Um, Mythic America's Inca Maras. Now this is one of the really, really big monsters this is. Um, this is a snake monster. That is uh, actually really, really pretty. Really pretty. Uh, resin 28mm. Monstrosity miniature. And we'll leave that black. Uh, we'll, we'll do this one now. And the starter army whoa, is... A Battalia Starter Army for Pike and Shot. AT Plastic Pike and Musket Infantry, 24 Plastic Cavalry, 10 Plastic Firelock Miniatures, 40 Full Colour Flags covering Parliament and Royalists. So, uh, that Parliament and Royalists, that's going to be English Civil War. Which could be quite a fun project as a diorama, right? Maybe There's that one there. And then we have some reading material. So we'll get rid of the big box. And the reading material is a rule book for Armada from Mantic Games, who make Kings of War. If I even get into this. If in doubt, brute force. 
Okay, so we have the Epic Game of Naval Warfare by Amada. Um, I think it's actually a full game, right? What's in this book? Ten exciting scenarios. But it looks like there's some cardboard stuff as well in the back of it. So it looks like we've got a book, and then there's four pieces of like thick card or thin MDF. Maybe it's some ships to play. Uh, doesn't actually say. Maybe that's just because this piece is just for the book and maybe it's some kind of starter thing. But we have an Armada book from, uh, from Mantic Games. Uh, another SPQR rule book. We got that in the uh, last two. Uh, we got that one in the last two um, boxes. And a Mythic America's hardback uh, rule book. Uh, the last one we got in yesterday's was softback, I believe. So this is the hardback version. So, was I right to be impressed with what is in here? There is a lot of stuff here. Um, there is a, a lot of things in here. Um, the books, the, 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 the Mega Mystery Box coming out at the same time as the... The normal mystery box. I was kind of expecting probably one rule book of the same. Um, seems though you're getting a starter set for this. The rule, the rule book for this would have probably been nice uh, instead of Mythic Americas or the Armada. The rule book for actual the actual rule book for Pike and Shop would have would have been nice. Maybe it's asking too much. I don't know personally what I would have would have liked out of it. Um, the bolt action stuff obviously is, is good for me. It's it's armies that I'm going to use. It's armies that I use. Uh, the paintbrushes are cool. Um, Belgian Jaeger stuff is good as well. Value-wise, at the end of the video, there'll be the total. It's definitely, excuse me, it's definitely way over £150. Definitely over, uh, over the £300 as well. Um, some of the stuff is a little bit over the, over the place. Um, the mystery box I opened yesterday, it was a lot more, everything was in, in line with everything else. Uh, as with previous ones, whereas this one seems to be seems to have jumped a little bit uh, around. I mean, the um, black powder, the King's German Legion, I think, is, is is too early for parliamentarians. So this doesn't go for the English Civil War. So this doesn't go with this. Um, the Falsham Jaeger stuff goes with the Falsham Jaeger stuff. The Italian stuff goes with the Italian stuff. Overall, value-wise, definitely, definitely right up there. Um, Starter Army, brilliant. I would have liked um, Project Z, personally, um, or a bolt action Starter Army. But again, this is to get people into other games. If you only play bolt action, have, having this here, it might get you into Pike and Shot. Um, or if you're in, into Pike and Shot, you know, and, and, and into your, your older periods of, of gaming. Um, then the more modern stuff is probably better for you. But value-wise, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, Product-wise, I'm, I'm happy with the majority of things here. Uh, and, and what I can't use, uh, I will stick on eBay. Uh, just sell off for no profit. Um, but yes, there is everything there. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop me a thumbs up. Um, and if you got one of these mega mystery boxes or even the normal mystery box, um, if you could, if, if you want to drop down in the comments below uh, what you got in yours, I would be um, really happy to to hear what you got. So thank you everybody. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Stay safe. Ta-ra.